Well, greetings from the beyond, scholars. This is Mr. Harrison. Welcome to my home. Uh, I, I am pretty sure you guys are all in the comfort of your own homes watching this as we navigate this very unique COVID-19 coronavirus pandemic together. Um, we've been dealt some lemons here from life. That It's a less than ideal scenario, but we're going to do our very best to make some lemonade out of the situation. Um, uh, one of the things that we as your teachers have been instructed is to go over and focus on things that we've already learned that could use a little extra review and specifically things that are going to give you a lot of benefit as, as students and scholars moving forward in your academic career. Um, and in, in science, one of the things that's going to help you the most here is uh, going over the concept of scientific method, um, scientific investigation, how to design an experiment, what parts should be in a valid experiment. Um, and that's way too much to, to fit into one video. So what we're going to do is we're going to focus on just the, the four components of a valid experiment. Um, you've, part, part of the scientific method process is things like a hypothesis, um, a conclusion, different trials, things like that. But within the actual experiment, there's four main things that you need to know. The independent variable, the dependent variable, control, and constant. So you need to know those, what they are in the experiment, their purpose, um, where they need to be. Uh, so uh, one of the things I stress to my students is whenever you can, work smarter, not harder. Don't tax yourself. Don't stress yourself out um, trying an inefficient way to learn things. So what we know about the brain is that when you can attach concepts, um, information that you need to know and be able to use to uh, music specifically, it helps your brain to remember it, recall it, and be able to use it much, much easier. So with that in mind, I've rewritten um, the uh, words to uh, a popular song a, a little while back called Rude, and you probably recognize it in a few seconds. Um, it, there's also a document, a Google Doc that's uh, posted that you can pull up right now if you haven't. Uh, pause the video and pull it up. Um, that, and also, if you want to print it off, that's fine too. I don't. However, however you want to learn this, but I think this will help your brains to not have to be as as stressed out and and to have to work as hard to remember the same amount of information. So, without any further delays, here is the experiment song. A problem, a question. That's where you start. See, you need an answer. Hypothesis next, then design your test And now you're halfway there And then you run your test And try to figure out if you were right you're Testing your hypothesis well, These are all the parts of an experiment You gotta get them right in the place they belong Two variables of control and constants If you don't have them, then your answer is wrong The one you change is independent It's introduced at the beginning And everything else remains constant The second one is the dependent This one changes at the end and Control is for comparison Parts of an experiment The independent Changes the dependent the Control group is Used for comparison Constants don't change When you draw your conclusion Parts of an experiment Parts of an experiment that helps you uh, to remember, recall, be able to use those four components. Um, the four components, again, just to review, of a valid experiment are the independent variable, the dependent variable, the control, and constants. Stay healthy, stay safe, and we'll see you soon.